Welcome to Interrogation, a game where two contestants have up to 20 questions to unravel a mystery. There are no prizes. It's all just for fun and glory. First contestant, the categories, historical event, go. Is it associated with a war? Yes. Did it take place in the 20th century? Yes. Was it associated with World War II? No. Was it associated with uh, the Korean War? I do not believe so. Was it associated with the Vietnam War? No. What? You said no for the Korean War, right? Yes. Yes, I said no. There I felt like, what's my line? Was it associated with World War I? No. I'm not a wars in the... Uh, was it associated with Persian Gulf? No. Was America in this war? Yes. Well, wait, wait a second. We, no. Um, how you phrased it... Was America a combatant in this war? It's really hard to, how you're phrasing your question, it makes it hard for me to answer. And it makes me hard to, the answer I gave last makes it hard for me to answer. The previous question, the previous way question. you phrased it makes it hard for me to answer. In fact, I'll take back that question. I could be wrong, but I, the way you're phrasing your question makes it me hard to answer. Associated with war, and it's hard to answer if America was a combatant. Is that your question? No, that's 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 me summing up what uh, what what I'm hearing. I can't answer yeah. that because then I, the, that, no, I know that's me. Uh, that's that's thinking me out kind loud. Of just thinking out loud. Thinking that's out loud funny. based on what you, what you're telling me here. All right, so all right, let's just gotta get a little more granular here. Did it happen after 1950? Yes. Um and no. Yeah, I can't answer that. Yes and no. If you think how what your question you just was asked it the Cold me. War between the U.S. and Soviet Union? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, one question at a time. What was your question? Was it the Cold War? Is it the Cold War? No. A lot of things. Well, came. so it sounds okay. like it's, yes and no. Last question: Yes and no. Yes, yes and no. That it was and wasn't. But so, so thinking out loud here. So it sounds like it's associated with the with the Cold War, but not necessarily. Okay, was the incident between the U.S. and the Soviet Union? Yes. Around 1950, that's, uh, did it involve Cuba? No. Was Eisenhower president? When did when was Eisenhower's president? Well, wait a second. Eisenhower what? Was you said was Eisenhower present for it? President. Oh, was he president? Yes, I think he was. Soviet Union, the U.S. round didn't involve Korean War. Oh, was it the U-2 spy plane incident? No. Oh. And I will take a hint, please. Or a hint. Yeah, I give you a hint that doesn't give it away right away. Okay, um, just a second. I just want to make sure I Nazi Germany spearheaded it. The uh, detonation of the hydrogen bomb. No, because we're t if we're talking atom bomb, we're going back far below, far before 1950. I'm just gonna just gonna say that it involved Japan. No. Oh wait, um, did it involve outer space? Yes. Is it Sputnik? <clears throat> it was part of it. Was it sending Yuri Gagarin into space? It was part of it. Historical event. The space race? Got it. It's a space race. <laughs> and the Nazi spearheaded with a V1 with a V1 yeah. rocket. And that was a mad and when World War II ended, there was a mad rush by both of the Americans and the Russians on trying to grab the scientists that were responsible for the V1 rocket. And truth matter is I always say that the NASA is not the National Aeronautical and Space Administration. It's the Nazi <laughs> Aeronautical and Space Association because it was Operation a, a Nazi rocket scientists that actually designed our Apollo rockets. Uh, so there's the one spearhead. That's why I thought it was a good clue. Okay, now, what else should we know about Bill the Vampire that gets people to want to buy this book in the link that's at the top of the description in the, for this video? Well, here's if it's it's really for people with a, a variety of people. If you've if if you enjoy supernatural stuff like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Fright Night, um, if you enjoy Dungeons and Dragons, um, if you if you enjoy raunchy humor, it's for it's for it's for it's for those uh, for those people who kind of like a little bit of an edge to the stuff they watch. If you're looking for you know Bill the kindly uh, the kindly Amish uh, you know vampire, vampire. Kill <laughs> there you there you go. Them. There's your new series. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if anyone's ever made an Amish vampire. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it. Oh, really? Probably. But, <laughs> but it uh, wasn't me. What? It wasn't, it wasn't me. So just out of curiosity, how old was Bill when he died, when he was made into a vampire? Okay, so uh, the, so, the, so the story starts off when Bill's about 24. 24. Yeah. So when is he made a vampire? That without if that doesn't give away too much of a spoiler. When oh, it happens, it happens in the first chapter. I mean, basically, the, the opening of the book is him dying. <laughs> so Okay, so he was 24. So he's forever 24. Yep. Uh, and do they ever age? Do they ever get... Do they ever... That, that's a little bit of... A, 
that's a little here. that's getting a little into spoiler terror. Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. Uh, this is uh, the first series of this YouTube channel. Uh, we have we are on episode seven, right? We were no, we're episode eight. We're episode eight. We got one more past this one. It's the best of uh, nine. Uh, the score is tied at two and two with three with uh, three ties. So if you enjoy this uh, show, please subscribe uh, the series. If you're a YouTuber or an author and you like to appear as a contestant uh, in the description, there's a link to where you can apply to be so. And we'll see in a moment just how well George does right after this commercial break. Welcome back to Interrogation. Sir Willow, what else can you tell us about your YouTube channel? Oh, goodness. Um, it has been an amazing thing. But uh, when I first started, I never expected it to be real big. And it's happened so often with YouTube. Um, it seems like what what becomes popular is very random. I made a video way back. Um, I'm hoping on random. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I made a video probably about my second or third month into doing the channel uh, about a group that I labeled it the group the cast members hated or were afraid of. Um, and basically, I talked about some of the different groups that uh, just caused stress for the cast members like Grad Night and stuff. Uh, but the big one I really talked about was the tour groups from South America because they, they oh, the behavior with them is atrocious. Like what? Uh, running wild, cutting people off, screaming and yelling during shows and uh, just chaos and Here's hadn't thought you. much about it um i was probably about 2000 subscribers at the time and three months after i made this video something happened and all of a sudden it started catching youtube's algorithms and i went from um it was like a couple hundred views to in a matter of about three weeks i was around 300,000 views and just kept going um that one video basically built my channel really? <laughs> brought a lot of people in um how many subscribers do you think that one one video got you that one video video probably brought in right now right i'm at 28 eight. um it probably brought in somewhere between well to fifteen thousand subscribers just off that one and also so essentially it went viral you had a video that went viral yeah essentially it's it's about a half million views so depending upon how you define viral but for me in the size of the channel i went time <laughs> with 1500 subscribers yeah it was it was nuts and of course all my other videos then start picking up a lot of views because people would watch that one and then they'd watch the others and uh, so yeah that one video built my channel um, but it was overwhelming because i like to talk and chat with the people who comment on my videos and fun i couldn't do it it was just so much that there was no way i keep up with it and still do anything else so so if you watch videos you wonder well why don't they ever reply to us that's why it just you, you can't do inundated. it <laughs> yeah well cool all right george sir willow <laughs> Are you ready? I hope so. We'll see. Contestant. Category is historical event. Go. Um, was this event a war? No. Um, well, <laughs> oh, right out, right out of the I'm, Yes. Right the this has kind of become my challenge. How can I stump Jack? Okay. This <laughs> is Sparta. Was it part of a war? Was it, what was your, what was your question again? I asked if this event was a war. Was a war. It was part of one. Part of a war. Okay. Yes. Um, but it was, yes, it was hard. Okay. Did this event take place just in Europe? No. Okay. Was this a worldwide event? Yes. Okay. Part of a war. Interest. Um, was this in the 20th century? Yes. Did this last over the course of more than a century? No. Okay. Uh, is it related to World War II? Yes. Is it a type of weapon that was developed? No. Gosh, I got about a dozen things going through my mind and trying to narrow them down to a yes or no question. Yeah, I went on a about a million tangents that weren't even close. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I'm kind of like, all right, let me see. It's always was a good it, idea to recap. Yep, well, like I said, that's kind of what I'm doing. Was this the development of the Cold War? What was the question? Was it the development of the Cold War? Was this the development of the Cold War? No. <laughs> Was this was this a development of the Cold War? Yeah, the Battle of the rise of Russia and the United please States. De de please define development. Do you mean the beginning of the Cold War? Right, with the rise of Russia and the United States. No. No. Okay. Was this event focused more on Europe? No. Was it focused more on the Pacific? No. Who? Wow. Was it those damn Australians? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down I, under. I was thinking, Watch out for those guys from down under. I was thinking it was more Africa or something. Maybe I don't know. Move. Holistic boomerangs. <laughs> Was this an event that happened after the war as opposed to during it? What? Did this happen after the war more than during it? No. Okay. So let's see. That would eliminate the UN. That would eliminate the division of Berlin. Those kinds of things. 
Well, I said I'm uh, wrong, Rick. I mean, is there anything wrong, Rick? I don't think I uh, 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, that one question. Yeah, that 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 that, that, that one. one no, I don't think I don't think you're wrong. It's just a tough one. <laughs> It's George. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm good at that. If I don't get you stumped at least once. And you um, it right out the gate. Did this involve politics in the United States? Oh, yes. Was it, um, was it the death of FDR? No. Okay, it's not the development of a weapon, so we're not talking about the nukes. Did it involve the creation of alliances? I got a feeling I'm going off on the wrong track here again, but... I, I don't think this, again, your question was, it was, repeat your question. Did it involve the creation of alliances? I don't think it was in the creation of alliances. I don't, I don't think it was, it created alliances. Unless Rick thinks otherwise. No, I can probably, no, I think you're right. I said, I feel like I've gone down a rabbit hole that I'm not sure how to get out of. Oh, I wish I could say something, but I can't. If Rick wants yeah. to say something. Unless you want to burn two, then you can. <laughs> Like I said, that that's so I've got four questions total. Yeah, you could burn two, but then you'd have to guess it in two. I can say something, but it's just going to be full of lies and obfuscation. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I just feel like I've gotten myself in so much of the wrong direction. Let's do the two. I we'll hate to do two. it, but well, so this you, is where I was a history awesome. major, and I almost feel I like I know too much. I use the same clue I gave to Rick. Okay. It was spearheaded by Nazi Germany. But it's not weapon development. Is that your question? No, because I already asked that question. You already asked that question. Yeah. That's why that's why I'm, I'm thinking out loud to myself. So it's not weapon development. It was spurred by Nazi Germany. The worst mustache fad in history. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Holocaust, is it? Is that your question? That's my question. No. And I'm actually down to one, that's, not four. And that's not part. You already, you, you, you've already ask is it like, well, the holocaust was a worldwide thing it wasn't just europe but you asked other questions that have already would have eliminated that as a question yeah so i'm down to my last one here last well oh yeah i forgot yeah because you forgot to take off my two i think that now here okay your last one um if you i don't know <laughs> I, I i will give you an honest to goodness free 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 hint okay you asked that you asked if it was about weapons development but it stemmed from weapons development. Ooh, I couldn't have given that one. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to throw out the Star Trek nerd question as my th- final guess, because I'm just, I'm stumped, and where I'm going, I'm sure isn't right. So is it eugenics? <laughs> what? The Wrath I, of Khan. I, I did not know that's where you, I, I, that was not what I would have guessed when you said Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. No. Because <laughs> that actually race. started in Nazi Germany as well. But George, Sir Willow. <laughs> Space race. Ah, Okay. Part of the, it, it on the Cold it, War. See the, the V one bomb, the V one rocket. As I told Rick, V one rocket is what was the technology when yeah. World War Two concluded. The Americans and Russians rushed in to get the the rocket yeah. scientists by the, of the Nazi rocket scientists. And and, I was so stuck in having it it having to be at World War Two that I had wasn't thinking World War Two kind of laying the foundation for what happened in the 60s really so it's a spirit headed by the nazi yes. germans and, and it was rockets i, I never would have got it. when never you said star happened. trek i was like he's got this oh yeah i, I thought yeah. oh well, no <laughs> i thought that ironic i thought you had it when you said uh, when you brought up cold war yeah and then when I, you asked me, was this, it was, what was the question? Well, was this the creation of the development? I said of it was Cold War? It was a, it was a by, it was a byproduct of the Cold War. Yeah. And it only became the space race only really occurred because of Sputnik. When, when, so it, when the Russians, if the Russians, had, if we had fired the first satellite first and the Russians followed us, we, the race might not have, yeah. the space race might not have happened. But because of Sputnik, America panicked and didn't realize just how far ahead we were already and just it, it yeah. and everything you know went from there you know i was just locked in the wrong timeline i i was locked in the 40s <laughs> and you know um, you but you nailed it on the the cold war that's yeah. the 50s 60s 70s 80s I mean, well, the Cold War really began in the late 40s with the division of Berlin and Russia and the United States. So that's why I could not say over that. I couldn't say that the space race was was the was the development of or the creation of the Cold War because it was already in progress. It's just that when Sputnik went on, it was another element of the Cold War. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, we're down to one last. We have um, Rick's ahead. 
We got Rick is again. three to two with three ties. We'll see how it goes in the last episode. Yep. 